got these little treat bags and I don't love that they say sweet shop. I want to do like little party favors, but not necessarily say sweet shop. I want to give little gifts to some friends. So what am I to do? Hey guys, May Flom here, and today I'm going to show you how my scan and cut can help me disguise these fun little treat bags and make something special for Mother's Day, just because, for a birthday, whatever you like. So the first thing we're going to do here, start at the home screen, and I'm going to go ahead and load in my mat. And the reason I'm going to go ahead and load in my mat is I have various scraps of paper that I want to go ahead and scan in. But first, I'm just going to grab a pattern. We could grab absolutely any pattern. I'm going to come in here and grab one of these fun flourishes, and I'm not going to size it or anything yet. I'm just going to set it so that I can get to this screen and push this blue button that will scan the mat and tell me exactly where all those lovely papers are. Now with that scan, I can see what I've got. I can also see size-wise what things are looking like. I can go in here and I can edit the size. I can rotate my image. If, for example, open, I want to go the other way. Things aren't fitting on the scraps of paper that I've got. I can make them fit and say okay. Then I'm just going to go into add pattern and I can continue this process for as many things as I like. However many flowers I want. I want one big flower. And because I pre-scanned the papers. This is making it easier for me because that means that I can go in and look up whatever items I might like. Just come in here so, so easy, you guys, and just look at whatever things that I think will work well, pick them out, put them on the papers, and repeat the process over and over and over again. Now, if I go to this screen on accident, I could just push back add and every time it's the same go in here and add 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 i am gonna oh my gosh you guys i just have so much fun with this now one of the tricks i like when i'm making a little treat bag like this is to mix up the sizes of things so i try to have like here's a smaller flower and i can i mean i can see so clearly that i can even get into like which which parts of which pattern papers i'm going to have featured on here. Oh my gosh, I just love that. So I'm going to keep adding until this is completely full. Once you're happy with everything and moved everything around, all you need to do is just say okay and cut. Well, everything all cut out. Now it's time to have some real fun. So I've got my bag here, and what I'm going to do first is just kind of peel everything off of my mat here. You can see I've got my little spatula. Just makes things a little bit easier. Get everybody peeled off. Now, I did work on double-sided paper, so I can take a look at which side I want to use for my various designs. And just a tip, guys, if you have a damp cloth or a paper a damp paper towel wet wipe whatever you might have you can and by the way guys we can totally still use these to make even more designs uh, but if you have something along those lines you can definitely use that if for example there's a couple spots where i had a couple of sticky bits of pattern paper um gunking up my mat just a little bit all you have to do is just with that slightly damp cloth or wet wipe as i mentioned before all you have to do, yeah, this particular paper um, was really sticky, and sometimes I get a pattern paper where it's not the, you know, it's not the mat's fault, it's just the whatever the, I don't know if it's the ink or whatever's on the paper, sometimes that happens. Just don't worry about it, you can work that out. But anyhow, if you just take that and just wipe, all, just scrub all over the mat after you've taken the spatula and really gotten any of the ick off that you can, what you're going to find is that what you can do is really refresh the mat. Then all you have to do is just let it dry uh, entirely. Don't try to speed it along. Just let it totally, totally dry. And every time it totally rejuvenates my mat and it'll get rid of all of those little yuckies. So that's just a tip from me to you. Now, after you've gotten everybody off the mat, then it's just time to assemble. 
Now all that's left is for us to assemble, as I said. So with everything apart, what I'm gonna do is that's gonna be my first one down. And I'm only, I'm gonna use hot glue on this because I think it's gonna work the best for me. But I'm only gonna use a tiny, tiny droplet of hot glue on this first layer. And I've got two reasons for doing that. Reason number one is that I want to be able to tuck things under this. And reason number two is I don't want on such a thin little bag, I don't want to overwhelm it with a ton of hot glue. So then I'm just going to layer. I'm going to start in the middle with my flower and I'll use a little more hot glue. Some of it's going to seep through to that bottom layer of the bag, but we're not going to worry about that. And if you want to have more dimension, we're not going to worry about hot glue strings. We can take care of that at the end. For more dimension, you can bend and fold your petals if you want. You don't have to do a ton. It's totally up to you. I love how this is so easy. And here's a tip. If you were doing this for a party and you wanted to do a whole bunch of them, what I would suggest to you, easy peasy, what you want to do. And this one I'm going to tear in half because I'm going to um, tuck it underneath. So what I would recommend if you were doing a party and you wanted to do a whole bunch of these, and these guys, I'm just going to have these two uh, kiss to share a little of that hot glue because we don't need very much and then tuck them under. Instead of doing it the way that I did it, what I would say is get a piece of paper and for each piece of the design, cut the whole piece of paper. Instead of doing it how I did it here where I just kept kind of cutting different designs, do a whole page worth of each design. That way you can work in a more bulk fashion. That way you can really get going and you'd have all the pieces so that all you would be doing at this point is pulling one from each pile and assembling. Of course, if you're just doing one, like I want to try this out before I do it anymore. And I'm thinking this is going to be a great Mother's Day present. I'm going to add that one too because I want just another layer there. So because I think this is going to be great for Mother's Day and I want to go ahead and try out all the layers, I'm just going for it. Totally going for it. And this, I'm thinking I'm going to add that same one over there. Only before I add this very final layer, I'm just going to kind of give it a look over. Once the hot glue, you might see my fingers doing like that. If you've worked with hot glue, then you know sometimes the hot glue can get a little wild. Now I, because of the way this worked out, because of the way all these layers worked and they're all pressing down, I don't really feel like I necessarily want to do anything to, I don't feel like I want this base layer of petal. I don't think that it needs to um, be glued down or anything. The only thing I do think I'm going to do is just put this guy right over here to the side. And again, since it's, it's a layer that's going down and going to make contact with my delicate bag. I'm just making sure that I only have a little bit, just exactly what I need or as close to it as I can get. And again, you can just, any little hot glue strings, little spider web looking guys, you can flick off. We can also add at this point, if there's anybody that is not glued down the way you want it to be glued down, now would be the time to fix that. All right, guys, that's it. Now, oh, I hot glued that's one of the reasons I work on this mat for this kind of project. If you hot glue something, don't worry, you can always trim it off. So last thing to do here, and I made sure the hot glue went all the way through. I just need to make sure on this side that I trim only that little, that one little bit. There we go. Okay, last thing. If we want any embellishments, anything dimensional, uh, I'm looking and thinking maybe something aqua would be pretty and tie things in so like a little my little embellishments my buttons my beads my sequins that kind of fun stuff i can glue down now i did that button with hot glue if i'm going to glue something teeny tiny like let's say sequins or beads then i'm going to pull out a liquid adhesive and use the liquid adhesive because that's going to be a much better match so i'm just going to put a couple little dots not very many, and I am going to actually try to mostly glue it to the papers just so I don't, over, again, so I don't overwhelm that delicate bag. And then I will just, I am just really, I just have a little, little thing here that it's got some random little sequins and things. So I'm just going to pull off of there 
and use up some leftovers. Gotta love that. I hope you guys have enjoyed this fun little treat bag. That'd be great for Mother's Day. It'd be great just for a friend, just because. Whatever the special occasion for a party, anything at all. I hope you have had fun watching this little tutorial. If you have any questions, requests, anything at all, feel free to leave me a comment. I'll see you next time.